ดีค่ะ Hi guys <laughs> Guys in this vlog we gonna have a food challenge we've never done anything like it before we are around the Victory Monument this place is famous for its boat noodles there is a massive boat noodle alley uh, somewhere around there we have to find it we're gonna have a food challenge how many boats can we eat can we eat more than 10 stay mm. tuned to find out <laughs> yeah have a look what's coming up and stay tuned because you're gonna see us eating a lot let's go <laughs> By the time we finish, we should have a stack like this, hopefully. We'll see. Wow. That's a big one. <laughs> that is so good, especially with the pork scratchings. Gives it that much more flavor. Right, guys, I was waiting for this one. Cow soy. This chicken, guys, it's marinated in that coconut soup. It's so, so good. If you're new here, we are Danny and Diggy, an English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us on, on our, our journey. Welcome to another vlog. We are back together. We are taking you with us for lunch today, guys. Yeah, so we're going to get some amazing food around here. It's one place we wanted to go to for quite a while, but we just never got around to it. So come join us for some food. And I'm looking forward to this food because I do love this dish. So come with us. Let's go. So guys, let's go. We never done a food challenge on this uh, YouTube channel. So let's go, let's have some food. Well, we just leaving BTS station Victory Monument now. We just have to get there. So yeah, in one of the previous videos, we did say we want to come and uh, explore area, this area a bit more. So that's what we came here to do today. And we came here to have some lovely food and a lot of it. Yes, we just got to find our way down to street level and pop out in the right exit otherwise we'll be walking across all these crazy roads yeah but yeah it's exciting to go down and see what's around this monument there's lots of food so many built places we have already chosen ours already so let's see if we can find it what is really cool around here guys that you don't have to actually go on a street level you can walk almost well half of the roundabout actually on a bts walkway it looks quite cool So yeah, we're just passing the famous boat noodle alley, guys. The smell is crazy. We can smell can it up smell here. Smell the soup from all the way up on this first level. Yeah. At the level of the BTS, you can smell the soup. <laughs> you can smell it already. It smells amazing. Yeah. But, but we choose wow. different restaurant. A little bit probably less popular than all the vloggers or you know everyone come to eat. So we will tell you later on why we choose this restaurant. And uh, yeah, let's just go and eat. On the street level now it looks quite good there's a lot of food around here guys so I think video day my we finished we should have a stack like this hopefully we'll see <laughs> I'm starving <laughs> yeah. right guys we have to choose our food first there is a lot of choice as well that's why we choose this place we are in Payak boat noodle we choose this place because there is not only one type of noodle soup, but uh, they have loads of, they have four main different ones. So yeah, um, yeah, let's choose some and 
let's eat right guys we've ordered our food you're gonna see what we're gonna have what we've ordered in a minute but I just want to tell you quickly that if you ever see this green tea make sure you try it because this is one of my favorite drinks in Thailand it's super refreshing it's yummy make sure you try this one oh yeah yeah, today it's a bit muggy hot, so when you see this video, it's only been about a week behind, I think, around that. So, what you see the weather now is what it's currently like in Bangkok. But it's a bit, a bit muggy. It needs to rain, I think. But I love it here. You've got right by the river you're sitting. And if you don't like the heat, you actually have aircon as well. So you can sit yeah. in the aircon if you want to. You have that choice, but we like to sit outside. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna drink this in a minute. So carry on and get some. Oh, it's all here already. What do you reckon, guys? How many soups, how many bowls of soups we can eat? Comment quickly down below. Let us know. It will be interesting to you know if you actually believe in us, guys. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> Comment down below how many bowls you reckon we can eat. We've got here 12 bowls of noodle soups, guys. What we've got here, we've got pork nam tok, we got also the beef nam tok, we have curry shrimp curry noodle soup. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Cow soy and tom yum as well. So guys, each of these, the small ones are 16 baht each, so you can eat loads of them. And the two large ones, they're 50 baht each. They are like maybe double, triple the size, but they smell amazing. So like Diggy said here, what we've got here, we've got um, two lots of lamb tok, one beef, one pork. And if you don't want know what lamb tok is, it's basically, it's a thickened soup. And um, why they thicken it is with pig's blood or cow's blood. So if you're a bit squeamish, maybe don't choose these ones, but believe me, they taste amazing amazing right guys let's try some of these noodles I'm excited we haven't eaten much today we've been saving ourselves for all these noodles yeah we knew we were coming here so we didn't eat hardly anything for breakfast right so this is nam tok soup with some pork let's go for noodles oh yeah this is super. Mm. Oh. Pork is so soft, guys. It's literally just melts in your mouth. We got some pork balls as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. I know why Victory Monument is so famous for boat noodles, guys, because they taste better than anywhere else I tried. Mm. We've always had the big bowls of soup. We've never actually come to a proper boat noodle place for these little small ones. We've always had like a big num top soup. Oh. This is nice to get a massive variety of yeah. loads of different ones. And pork yum is so soft, honestly. Let's try some soup. See how dark this soup is. Oh. Full of flavor, it's rich, it's salty, very, very savory. Definitely tastes a little bit of sweetness there, but not too much, so it's really nice. We quickly show you inside the bowl. So you've got greens, again, you've got beef balls, you've got the beef meat, and you've got these Senlek thin noodles. Let's give it a go. I go for that meat first with a bit of noodles. Mm -hmm. That is good. I'll probably say my word I always say. It's not chewy at all. It's so soft. And what I love is you've got the crunch of these vegetables in between as well. Mm. And they're full of soup, they're hollow, so it's full of soup. So when you eat the greens, you get that burst of soup as well. But you've got that dark, rich, numb top soup. Let's try a little bit with a spoon. So let's try the broth. Mm. Oh yeah. If you guys ever see this num tok, don't be put off by what's in it because it's so rich, it gives it so much more flavour and yeah, it's just so tasty, especially with the beef. I think the beef one is the best. I think it's slightly more richer than the pork. But 16 baht for that. That's good. Don't worry, I've got some more to go. Mm -mm. That is some good soup. That is good. 
I'm glad we ordered loads of these. <laughs> Right, next soup to try. Tom yam. Tom yam. So this is Tom yam pork. What we got here, we've got a little bit of crispy wontons. We've got sen, sen mi, egg noodle as well. And a little bit of pork. And I have no idea. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fish sausage or something like that. Right, let's give it a go. I'm gonna go with noodles first. <gasps> Guys, these crispy wontons, they have been deep fried in the pork fat. I can taste that. It's amazing. Mm. Oh my god. It's so good. That's really, really good. I'll have a minute. Mm. Tom Yam has a bit of a clear soup. Uh, clear broth with some chilies already in it. Oh yeah. This is what really really good tom yam. It doesn't taste very fishy. It actually doesn't taste fishy at all. But it's so good. It has loads of pork and then tiny tiny noodles. It's super super good. You have to try this as well guys. Spicy? It's a little bit spicy. Pet noi, pet noi. So yeah, you can also get like pork scratchings. And what you do is just crunch them up and chuck them on top. This gives a bit more flavor and a bit more crunch because obviously this is a very soft dish. The noodles are very soft, the meat's very soft. So it gives that a bit of bite. And I love pork scratchings too, so that's why I'm having it. Mm. <laughs> Not good for this, but I love it. Mm -mm. That is so good, especially with the pork scratchings. Gives it that much more flavor. Right guys, I was waiting for this one. Cow soy. I love cow soy. This is a dish which is famous, comes from Chiang Mai. If you in Thailand, you have to try at least one cow soy. What it is basically is crispy noodles, then it's an egg noodle as well. You've got a massive piece of chicken and a little lime to squeeze on the top. Right, I'm gonna start with this lovely creamy broth. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so good. It is sweet, a little bit on the sweet side, but it's so rich. It's the coconut cream in there, the coconut milk. Oh God, I absolutely love cow soy and this is a really, really good one. What we also got, we got some condiments. So we got some mustard, pickled mustard greens, I think they call. We got some onions and some chilies. Oh, they must be so spicy. I'm just gonna check them in. Only a little bit, so I won't kill Danny. Add some condiments as well, make sure you add everything because then you have some sourness, some crunch as well in that soup and it's just delicious with the creaminess of that coconut milk, crunchy noodles as well. This is the dish you have to try when you come to Thailand. Now I'm just gonna give it a mix and finally try, try some of these noodles. This is really good cow soy, guys. I really like this one. Mm. That chicken falls off the bone. Literally falls off the bone with your chopsticks. Mm. Oh, it's so nice. <coughs> you can actually taste in this chicken. I'm just gonna pick it up with my hands. This chicken, guys, it's marinated in that coconut soup. It's so, so good. I love it. I absolutely love this cow soy. This is my favorite so far. <laughs> So this is basically exactly the same what Diggy had, but it's with prawns. 
So this is basically a cow soy with prawns. And I think it's said to find cow soy outside of Chiang Mai and this kind of area, it's actually good, it's quite hard. So I know this is sweet already, so same as Diggy, condiments first. Diggy said be careful with that chili, it's hot. So I've literally put in this much. Check out these prawns, they're a decent size as well. You've got two big prawns. They actually come with a head and everything. I'm not going to eat that bit. So let's try one of these first. Big prawn. Oh, that's good. That's not overcooked, it's nice and soft. But it's covered already in that cow soy flavour. And like Diggy said, it is quite sweet. So that lime really helps to cut the sweetness a little bit. But I actually like these type of noodles. If you see these kind of noodles, they're slightly thicker, but not too thick. Let's give it a go. Oh no, for me, that sauce is a winner. That like cow soy curry sauce is absolutely amazing. But I want some of these crunchy noodles. Uh -huh. That's good. <laughs> got a friend behind us as well. <laughs> Just to give you a context, you can see the size of the bowl. So in theory, you could finish the noodles in two bites and with all the soup, this is probably only maybe, say, four or five mouthfuls for each bowl, I'd say. Depends how big your mouth is. But, so tasty. So, so good. I could come back here again quite easily. So we're just finishing our soups. There is a lot, a lot of food, guys. I think we could have eaten more if we wouldn't order the cow soy. But cow soy was absolutely amazing. Right, so we're just gonna carry on eating and see you in a minute. Oh my god, I am so, so full, guys. Super full. So, how many bowls did you guess? Yeah. How many? I wonder if any of you <laughs> guessed how many bowls of noodle soups we're gonna eat. How many we got here? I got two. And on this side, we have 11. So, we've done, we've done quite well. Yeah, 13, 13 bowls. Not yeah. too bad. Well, in my opinion, right, if you come here, I prefer to have all the small ones yeah. and not the big ones. I like the variety of the small ones and if you didn't eat those two big ones, that would have been a lot more. The yes. stack would have been right up here. Yes. <laughs> we should have eaten a bit more of these little ones than the big ones, but the big ones were so tasty, guys. Yeah, and there as well. Guys, I think this video deserves thumbs up for all of this hard work we've been doing today. <laughs> Hard, sweaty work eating. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you give the thumbs up to this video, please. It helps us a lot. Cap kun ka. So, guys, if you ever want to take us out, this is a cheap meal. Take us here. All of this, two drinks, and 11, 12, 13 bowls of soup cost us 300 baht. That's a bargain for all that food. So, yeah, definitely come check it out. Right, so I think we're gonna finish the video here. Thank you so much for watching guys. We are so full. Honestly, we feel like we need a nap now, but thanks for watching. Thanks for staying to the end. Uh, subscribe to the channel because there is more stuff coming from Bangkok and from Thailand. We're gonna go on uh, mini breaks very soon. And yeah. So if you're in Bangkok, come and try bone noodles. Mm. I hope you enjoyed it. We did. Yeah, we and definitely can recommend this restaurant. Yes. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>